Hello everyone, I hope you are well. We are going to jump into this event, see what it's all about. I want to take a look at the score uh, store specifically for this video, and then we'll be covering the gameplay uh, later, because I am super excited about the LTM, but there's a lot of like questions about what's going on with the store. So we have five things here. Apex Legends Final Fantasy Rebirth event. Purchase packs, okay. Open free pack. Oh! So we get a free pack out of the drop. Really? Cool. Um, how much is this actually going to cost? Zero Apex coins, boys. Zero Apex coins. Let's see how long this goes on for then. All right, so we get an Epic. Okay. Um, banner frame. Now, now it's 100 Apex coins. Now I'm a little bit uh, worried about how this is going to work. Ah, here we go. Single pack pricing per pack. One item, it's 90% discount. Two to six items, 50%. Seven to 15 items, 30%. 16 to 35 items, 100 uh, no discount. So, uh, this is a bit confusing. But this is the one pack thing. Wait, so this discount always applies at all times? I think that's what they're saying. So, I think 400 Apex coins per pack is the max amount. So, so far, we've opened one item. It's it's $0 so far. $0 spent. Okay? So, now let's buy this next one. Okay? I'm not going to do it with crafting metals because I want to see specifically how much it would cost as a player who doesn't have any of this stuff. So, we've now spent $1. Okay? Okay? I want to see how this compares to a normal event. Is it overpriced? Um, let's see the true cost of this so that everyone knows how much they have to spend. Uh, is it too expensive? How does it compare to other collection events? So now we've spent... Oh, this is interesting. We've now spent $1. Now, this is a bit confusing here because this price has now gone down. So... It almost feels like I sh would have saved money. No, that 100 Apex pack made sense. But here, it says own two to six items. So right now, I own two items. So if I buy three more of these, it's, it's so confusing. I don't like how confusing it is, first and foremost. Um, but uh, you can see the cosmetics, but you, you can't... You can't buy them unless it's the iconic skins. So, uh, yeah, so far we spent one, uh, one dollar. We've opened two packs. So if I do this now for the next three packs, it should now be this. This is now six dollars. Three packs in, six dollars. Okay, we'll keep it like that. Six packs in, three dollars. Okay, and we got the epic sticker set. That's pretty cool. Uh, now, we have opened three items, and we spent $6. Okay, so now we go again. Four items, $11 so far. It is extremely confusing. I don't like that at all. Um, I really hope that you can, in future events like this, you can just buy it outright. That is a very cool car skin. Look, it's actually moving. That is very cool. That's the thing with these cosmetics. They are very cool. Right, so now we have spent four items. It's been $11. We're going to see how much this costs. But there's one thing we need to be careful of here. It's just so confusing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, own two to six items. And then the discount will change at seven items. Ah, so what we need to do is buy one more. And this is where we get cheeky. Okay, I, I think. Um, now we buy another one. It's just so confusing. It really is. Now we've opened five items. We spent uh, $20, okay? And we get another epic sticker pack, right, okay. Hmm. Now, oh, it's already gone to, ah, yeah, they already thought about that. So it, it almost seems like to me, if you want to buy the whole thing, it, it, it makes sense just to do the one pack. So we're now four items in, no, five items in, we spent $20. To buy a novel. This is so weird. It's so weird. 
Right, okay, so we got our legendary. Let's see what it is. Uh, we got the Charger Alpha skin, okay. We've now spent $20. Why does this price keep going down and this one's staying the same? I don't know. It's really weird. It's so confusing. All right, anyway. Five packs. We've spent $25. Well, six packs. All right, here we go. Can we buy more packs? We have to open it every single time. It's, it's, it's very odd. Very odd. All right. We got the uh, longbow skin. A very cool skin, though, by the way. All right, now it's gone up to 700, okay? So it's now getting... <laughs> It's getting really confusing. This whole thing where you spend money and the more you spend, the higher the price goes up. And then you feel like, oh, I've already spent money. Maybe I should put more in. I don't like that at all. But let's see how... Let's just focus on the overall cost of this right now. So far, we have uh, seven items. And it equals uh, $30, okay? Right? Seven items is thirty dollars. So we'll go like that. Seven items equals thirty dollars. Right. Now we'll do another one. Okay. Now it's thirty-seven dollars for the eighth item here. Okay. That is a very cool R through one skin though. Let's yeah, okay. So let's just keep going. Uh it's now uh Eight items is thirty-seven dollars. Okay, eight items is thirty-seven. Right, and we continue. This is far too confusing just for the sake of it, and I really don't like that at all. Now we are at nine items, and it has been forty-three dollars. Right? How much is this going to keep going up? I just, I really don't like this at all. Okay, now we continue. Nine items, fifty dollars. No, ten items, fifty dollars. Ten items, fifty dollars. Stop the flats and smell the flowers. Okay, so we're in ten items in, and we've spent fifty dollars so far. Okay, I mean, so far it's looking, you know, in line with a normal collection event. But the trouble is, we are only a third, not even a third of the way through. Um, now I got to look at something, right? It's now 30% all around, right? I don't think the uh, value will go any lower. Not yet. So I can start buying these now, just to make it a little bit easier. So this is going to add $28, and it's going to add four items. So like that, we now have a four pack. So this is $14.78. Okay. It's really strange. Okay, cool little banner frame. <clears throat> no bundles. I mean, you can buy the iconic skins outright, which I do like. There's a cool R9 skin. Looks cool. Um, but I don't, I don't like this pricing system. It's way too confusing. But we've got to break down like really what it actually costs. What it truly, truly costs. Uh, Sentinel. Right, okay, so we got the Sentinel skin. Uh, that is $78 so far, 14 items in. Okay, right then. So now we... Wait, why is this now a 7% discount? Where does it say anything about a 7% discount? W in what world does that make any sense? Ah, because it's based on how many packs... Okay, so if we buy this one, now it's full price, right? We're going to spend another $7. We now have our 15 items. Okay. Now we can actually calculate how much this is going to cost. Oh my god. Okay, more epic stickers. At least you get four in one pack. Right, so we're 15 in. We have now spent... Um, $85. Now, everything is full price now. So that means we can calculate how much this is going to cost. We need another 21 items at 1,000 Apex coins each. So really? 21 items at 1,000 Apex coins each. Well, that is 21 times 1,000. 
21,000 Apex coins, right? I'm not missing anything here. It is 21,000. So, that is another $210. So, you get the 15 items of this scaling price. And then you need another 21 items at $210. Which means the whole price is $295. $295. That is the full pricing here. Um, yeah. I mean... That's how much it costs to get everything, to get basically guaranteed all of these items. The Buster Sword, which for some reason doesn't appear here. I don't know why. What does it say here? Open packs for chance to let the Buster Sword R5 guarantees unlock with 36 packs. Right. So, $295. Let me just see if there's anything I'm missing here. Um, obviously, I'm in a situation where I have the crafting to probably do this. Let's say we're a long-time player, right? So if you're a new player, you have to fork out this much money. Which is quite ridiculous. Let's see what happens if we try and craft packs. Does it increase in price? It just auto-opens. I think that's far too expensive. The event offer... Is there any event offers? Yeah, this is just the um, icon skins, honestly. Um, so let's see. I I think there's no increase in price here. So obviously, if you are a uh, sort of long time player, you can go for this option, right? You you can purchase these packs, and I don't know when it would stop. Um. I don't know. I think that it's just the permanent price. So, in my opinion, I think that it's far too overpriced. Does it increase? I, I just want to see if the uh, price increases. Nemesis skin is pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if it does. I mean, here it doesn't really say. It doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Well, I, I don't know how we feel about that. Um, this event cost, yeah, $295, or Mad Penguin says $294 without crafting anything. Now, I want to say that this event, besides the monetization, is pretty cool. So, as someone who likes Apex, I think we can all jump in the game. We should play this game mode as much as possible, right? I think we could even buy these normal event skins because they're pretty cool, right? Um, but actually taking part in this thing... Uh, I don't know. I just doesn't... I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that we have to... Like, have this scaling price system. The more you get invested into it, the more you feel like, Oh, I'm so close and now I want to spend more. I, I don't think that's a great way to do it. I don't like that we can't buy these items out right here. Like, I can't buy these. I have to take part in this, this silly thing. Um, I don't like that these things here are unavailable unless I um, actually invest in the tracker itself. It's, it's a system that feels far from what like, I believe, uh, should be a fair system. Um, and the, the, right now, there's no event packs in here. So, I'm guessing we may get two event packs in here, which will help save us a little bit. $20, I guess. So, the overall price is gonna be about 275 dollars which i mean what normal collection event is like 168 i don't know to me it feels that if i if i were to see change from this i would like to see the price less because i think it's too high and i'd also like to see them get rid of this chance based system like i think it's important for us to be able to have the ability to get these items without taking part in this like what if i really want this skin here or I can't get it. I can't. Um, so that's my opinion on, on it. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I hope that... Like, collab events are really cool, and I would love to see them do more, but I hope they take it to a different area, uh, improve it. Anyway, I'm going to play this LTM now, and uh, I'd love to hear your opinions. Um, yeah, see you in the comments. Cheerio.